Welcome to Railfans Canada. I'm Shane Seguin. Join us as we discover Ottawa's O-Train, Montreal's REM, and Metro Systems together. My role is within the KSNC Lavalin, but it's GPMMOM, okay, to make sure everything will work. Yeah. I basically lead the, the communications for GPMM, which is the consortium which provides the, the electromechanical system for the REM. Uh, GPMM is uh, composed of Alstom. Uh, I'm from Alstom and uh, from SNC Lavalin, and we can say GPMM OM as well. Uh, so Alstom is in charge within GPMM of the providing of the trains, of the signaling system, of the control center system, basically to be brief, uh, and of the, all the tests. Right, we're uh, a team working together to make sure the system will be a full system all together. Okay? Yeah. Yes, so control room <laughs> building, where you have the administration, the maintenance folks, okay, the operation folks, and the central control room. In the middle completely, you have the storage place where you have 54 single unit that you put inside, nine track, okay, side by side. And the brown building just there, you have four uh, tracks, two tracks at ground level, two tracks with a pit to work and rework the vehicle, okay, with plenty of other equipment in it. So that's basically a process. Vehicle will be called like automatically from the storage facility. They will go out, they will be brought, okay, to the main line to the station, and now the journey starts from here, going directly to Gare Centrale for now, in the future, up to the airport of Montreal, let's say, or other places. Uh, there are nine tracks. We're able to store here uh, 54 trains. Uh, when I say trains, that I mean train of two cars, composed of two cars, because the train is uh, a two-car train set. What's very interesting in the, in the storage is the, the yellow beacon you see on the tracks. So here in the storage, there are yellow beacons everywhere uh, on the network. And these beacons allow the train to be positioned, always positioned, and to give the position to the control center live, I would say. But in the storage, there are 450 yellow beacons like this, which is huge. And it helps us to store the trains very precisely in an, an automatic way. It's Metropolis trains. Metropolis are a platform from, uh, from Alstom. We have around 5,000 uh, vehicles in service in the world uh, with Metropolis. The things we did for REM is that we adapt the design. It's specific to REM, uh, the design, I mean the aesthetic. And we adapt, you see, uh, we saw some snowplow. Uh, the coupling is heated. Uh, the, the, the sanding blocks are heated as well to avoid any wet or things like that the roof and the, uh, all these things, the ceiling are eating as well, uh, all these things which are mostly for winter. The, the, the main difference for, for the train between, for example, we have basically the same platform in Sydney, in Australia, uh, that opened uh, two or three years ago. Uh, it's basically the same platform, but we adapted for REM and for the Montreal uh, climate and environment, uh, all the trains here. This is the place where the train will sleep at night. Uh, where we store them when we have no need of trains in the network. There will be another one in saint eustache in the North Shore. Uh, so here it's 54 and the rest will be in, uh, in the North Shore. But of course all the trains won't run together at the same time because we have some in maintenance, some in storage. And as we said before, it's, if we have any events uh, such as, I don't know, a soccer game or a hockey game and we need more trains, the fact that it is automatic, it's easier for us and for the operator to send trains in the network and, uh, and to make sure that uh, we, we cover the needs of the population. The first two tracks are level ground tracks. The second track, but the first one is where we receive the train. The second track is where you have the wheel lay. 
The third and fourth tracks are having pits to work under the vehicle and they have a um, catwalk on the second to work on the roof of the vehicle. So that's basically the layout of that small shop maintenance. Because in the future we'll have on the North Shore a large maintenance. So there will be other equipment, other facility, etc. to take care of the large maintenance of the vehicle. La Salome, yeah, it will be just, uh, it's more like a storage. Okay. La Salome, okay, is the end of the track, okay, towards the uh, west of the island of Montreal. It's just like a storage. Okay. So in the future, there will be a storage there. There is a few cars, but the, the, the car, I will say, will sleep at the airport of Dorval. And after that, there is the small maintenance facility here in the South Shore, in Brassard and there's a large maintenance facility in St. Eustache doing the thing. There will be a um, timetable uh, in, uh, in the control center and this timetable will talk with the tracks to open the interlocking and that's the way CBTC works, to open the interlocking. The interlocking and we have some to be trivial a bit, uh, we have some uh, track side computers, they will talk with the train, they will wake the train and the train will leave after that and the train positions and is talking with the interlocking, with the computer on track to talk with the control center. That's the way it works and then the trains are talking with the tracks and the track is by radio and the track is talking to the control center by fiber optic and things like that. So that's the way CBTC work. Uh, we talked a bit about the, 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 the mobile blocks. Each train has a mobile block uh, when it runs that allows us to, uh, to be safe and to avoid any collision or anything like that because each train is in, blo is in its bl own block. Uh, yeah, and as I said with some of you before, uh, here we will do the coupling as well. You see the coupling system in front of each train. It's something which is universal. It's not, it's not for the REM, the only thing we did is that we adapt for winter, so it is heated and things like that. Uh, but which is, it's very interesting in the REM that the coupling will be automatic and it's not the norm of the signaling. The signaling form is to be sure that two trains never meet. And we will like the signaling to have trains meeting. So that's something very interesting as well.